Okay, rotations. What are rotations? That's when you turn a figure. So reflection was when we flipped it. Okay. Uh, translation was when we slid it, moved it up and down, left and right. Rotation is when we turn it. Okay. So we've got a rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is that direction about the origin. Now the origin is important, okay? So when you take a point and you rotate it 90 degrees, basically what you're doing is you're making a perpendicular uh, line. So one way to think about this is I'm going to use a line here. So if I draw a line from the origin to H and I draw the perpendicular line here, which would look uh, something kind of like this. Okay. What we're doing is we're trying to move that point 90 degrees in that direction right there. Okay. Um, so what exactly does that look like? There, there are a couple ways to do this. One is to take your uh, protractor and actually draw a right angle in that direction. Um, so let me let me do that. So I'm gonna get an exact 90 degree angle here with this. So so if I take the protractor here and I've got to turn it, okay, where I get this line lined up here okay so 90 degrees I'm just gonna put a dot here where 90 degrees would be so 90 degrees would be like right there yeah let me move it up just a little bit better okay so there's 90 degrees so I'm gonna move the protractor out of the way oops I actually drew it on the protractor sorry about that let me get it off of that Oh, well, it won't move. Sorry about that. I didn't know that was going to be the case. Uh, but what you need to do then is you have to draw a line from here up to that, okay? And then you take that point. So I'm going to see if I can do this after I move the protractor. I'm afraid it's going to go away, but, yeah, it's going to move away. But after you create that line that is perpendicular that's a little off there it's a little better okay then like I said you rotate this point over to that line okay wherever it falls now uh, being more specific how you calculate this can be a little confusing um, but we're gonna we're gonna talk about how to do that so the way this works mathematically, okay, again, my line's a little off here, so I'm going to erase the line here, get rid of that. But the way this works, H here was originally at 2, 4. So when you rotate, depending on the uh, quadrant you go into, so remember we're moving H over in this quadrant, what happens is the new point, H apostrophe, you switch the X and Y, Okay, so you switch the X and Y, and then all we do is we think about in quadrant, that's quadrant, what, two? The X is negative. So that's how that happens, okay? What about the point G? The point G, point G has coordinates, what? Zero, two. So what do you do? You switch the... X and the Y, so now that becomes 2, 0, and remember the X coordinate in that second quadrant is going to be a negative, okay? Now we do the same thing with I. I has coordinates what? 1, 2, 3, 3, 2. So what happens? We switch 
the x and y, and then in the second quadrant, x is negative. So those are your new points, okay? So we plot those points. I'm going to go back and erase these lines up here if I can. Oops, not those. Just one. It may not let me do that. That's okay. There we go. So we plot our new points. H prime was negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 2. So there's H apostrophe, sorry. G is negative 2, 0. G apostrophe. And then I is negative 2, 1, 2, 3. There's I apostrophe. So if I draw mm -hmm. that. So hopefully you kind of see how that rotation is taking place. Here, uh, here, and G here. So counterclockwise. Uh, let me get... Sorry. I want to get that uh, protractor out of the way here. Okay. So what about a rotation 180 degrees? Rotation 180 degrees, it doesn't matter the direction, 180, because 180 is just, if you go 180 to the left, 180 to the right, you end up at the same place. So all that happens here is that would be 90 degrees, that's one quadrant, 180 is going to be in this quadrant, okay? So one quadrant, two quadrants, one quadrant, sorry, one quadrant, two quadrants. One quadrant, two quadrants. Okay, so we're in this quadrant. So think about this quadrant. X's are negative, and Y's are negative. Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing we did earlier. Okay, where's the point G? The point G is at zero, one, two, three, four. So where would G apostrophe be? You switch the X and Y. But this time, the x and y both have to be negative. Well, you can't make a zero negative. So in that case, that's all that happens, okay? Uh, where's f? f was at 1, 3. So where's f apostrophe? You switch the x and y. Oops. And then you make them both negative because in that quadrant... Going back down here in that quadrant, the X and Y are both negative, unless it's zero, okay? Uh, where is I? I is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So where would I apostrophe be? Again, switch your X and Y, and they're both negative because they're both in the third quadrant. And then the last one, H. H is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. Switch your X and Y, which is this five and five, and then make them both negative. Okay, so let's come back over here. Mm, sorry, I want to erase this. So let's plot our new points. So G apostrophe was at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. There's G apostrophe. F apostrophe is negative 1, 2, 3, negative 1. F apostrophe. I negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then H negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's H apostrophe. So connect all that. And that's that's pretty bad freehand, but hopefully you kinda maybe I can straighten this line up a little bit. Make it a little bit better. So that's what that shape would be like if you rotated it over. Okay. It's a little more complex here, but hopefully we're kind of following it. Let me get rid of some of this stuff out of the way. All right. 
Okay, so this one is find the coordinates of the vertices of each figure after the given transformation. Okay, so we're going to do exactly what we did up above. Where is F at? F is at 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 0. This time we're rotating clockwise 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is only one quadrant. Think about each quadrant is 90 degrees. So that's just one quadrant. Here, what? The x's are negative. The y's are positive. So how do we get the new point? We switch the x and y. And now your y has to be positive here. Remember, my y here is negative. So what am I going to do? I'm going to change that sign. Okay, let's go to e. Where is E at? E is at negative 5, negative 3. So again, I switch my X and Y. So negative 3, negative 5. Look at this quadrant. My X's are negative. That's good. My Y needs to be positive. So I have to change that Y to positive. Okay, where's G? G is at negative 1, negative 1. So where's the new G? I switch them, negative 1, negative 1. Then look again, my Y has to be positive, so I need to make that Y a positive. So there's the new coordinate there. Okay. 180 degrees about the origin. So now this is like problem number 2 that we did. Okay, so where was J at? J is at 0, negative 2. So J apostrophe. So if I go 180 degrees... Again, direction doesn't matter here. So if I'm here and I go one, that's two quadrants. Okay, two quadrants. So in this quadrant, what do we have? Negative X, positive Y. So over here, I switch my X and Y. The X has to be negative. The Y is positive. In this case, zero doesn't change. Okay, where's I? I is at zero, negative three. So what I do, I switch them. So that's negative 3, 0. And then again, x has to be negative. y is positive. Again, 0. So that doesn't matter. k. Where's k at? 1, negative 1. So first thing I do, I switch my x and y. And then look here. x has to be negative, y positive. Well, that's what I get here. x is negative, y is positive. So when you're doing a 180 degree rotation, all you're really doing is switching the X and Y again. I think we talked about that in problem number two. So L, where was L at? Five, negative five. When you switch them, what are you gonna get? Negative five, five, which is what has to happen. X negative, Y positive. Again, a lot to that, you may need some help with that. If so, just ask for it, but hopefully you kind of followed. Okay, what about this last one? Okay. All right, so we got to figure out kind of a direction, but if you look at L, okay, here's L. That's this quadrant, this quadrant. I went two quadrants over. So what did I do? If I went two quadrants, that means that's 180 degrees. So that's a rotation, 180 degrees, about the origin. Remember, direction doesn't matter when it's 180 degrees, okay? Let's just make sure that's correct. Let's take M. Where's M? One, two, two different quadrants. So again, that's 180. All right, what about this one? Here's R. There's R. I only change one quadrant. U to U. That's only one quadrant. What direction is that? That is counterclockwise direction. So we say uh, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Oops, it's a bad W. Let me try that again. Wise about the origin.